Hello, welcome to Osborne View. Uh, this tutorial, this video tutorial, will show you how to create custom desktop launchers for your downloaded applications on Ubuntu 11.10. There are some applications that when you download, uh, probably you downloaded a much more recent version of a program, more than what is uh, available on uh, the Ubuntu Software Center or some application that you cannot find on Ubuntu Software Center, say an open source application that can run on Linux that you don't can find there. Alright, and you download this application but you cannot install it. Okay, what do you do? Sometimes it comes, you know, most of it comes with a binary file that you can simply double click and then it will launch the application from whatever location you saved it in. Alright, so instead of doing that, sometimes you want a shortcut to create, you know, to simply launch, launch the application. Um, before you uh, Ubuntu 11.10, all you needed to do was to right click on your desktop and among the contest menu you will see create uh, uh, desktop uh, launcher, custom desktop launcher. Well with the advent of uh, Ubuntu 11.10, such an option is no longer available. Okay, so in that case, what do you do? Alright, here are some simple steps, some simple commands that you need to use. sudo apt get install dash dash no install recommends no panel and so on. That is the first uh, command you need, and you need to type this command at the custom as the at the terminals at the terminal. Okay, okay. And the second one is uh, no desktop item dash ed edit and so on. So the first one you only need when you are using when you attempt to create a, 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 a custom launcher for the very first time. Say you've never done it before. Say you don't remember if it was ever installed or not, but you just want to be sure. Then you need this command, and all you need to do is type this command on your terminal, uh, on the terminal or command line, or if you have it typed out like this, simply right click and copy it, and then you go paste over there. But uh, no, take note of this command. I, I have it typed uh, in here on LibreForce, so I just want to copy and paste. So I open it, I minimize this, and I open the command, and I open the command menu. Okay, the, I mean the command window, the terminal, and I simply write, I simply click paste. Okay, I have it there, and what do I do next? I hit enter. Okay, for me to be able to check or install this, I need root. Uh, uh, permission and because I'm an, I'm an administrator on this computer I can simply type my password and it to run this command and I, I will have it installed but I've already have it installed so I don't want to go through that again so I X out of this but just in case you are not sure or you want to run this command just simply type your password and hit enter okay that is the first step all right I close the terminal all right now <coughs> I downloaded an, uh, a program a Java uh, IDE called Eclipse and I placed it in this location called applications you know and here I have Eclipse so I want to create a, a, a shortcut uh, to this application that I can use to launch this binary file here is the binary file I want to be able to launch this application from directly from my desktop rather than going through this into the folder and clicking double clicking on this uh, file so what do I do here I take the second command that is that is uh, specified here. Nome that desktop item or whatever. I simply copy it. Right, I simply right click, select it, uh, highlight it, and copy it. Okay, but just uh, you can simply type this command on the desktop. I mean on the terminal of your uh, on the terminal of your computer or the command line. Here you can type or oh, uh, Nome. You know and dash 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 depend on you know and so on but i already have it and i want to just right click and paste it at this command line command prompt okay i paste it and there guess what i let me minimize this okay i paste it and i hit enter you see what comes up it says create launcher this is what you need this is this is what you need okay where it says type just leave it as an application and uh, where it says name, type the name of the program you want to you want to create a launcher for. Here I have Eclipse. All right, I have Eclipse. It says command. What command do I put in here? I simply browse, click on browse, and go to where I have the the Eclipse package downloaded to. 
into and I simply click on where's the binary file here I have it here Eclipse and I click open so this command what does it mean it's actually a path to where that binary file is located nothing more and it's that simple and here it says comment well what comment do I want to do I just want to type Eclipse okay and the version I'm actually using is uh, 3.71 3.7.1 classic okay Eclipse classic and I click on OK and guess what I have Eclipse uh, uh, launcher created on my desktop it has this icon that I don't like because it's not beautiful and even if I even if I like it if I create 10 desktop launchers for different applications <coughs> they're gonna have that same kind of logo but no I don't want that and what do I want I want to put uh, the Eclipse logo so I right click on this and I go down to properties I click on properties and here I have this same logo here I just simply click on it and it tells me say select custom uh, icon okay select custom icon and what do I do I browse again to that same Eclipse uh, folder and here is the icon I want to use icon.spm yours can be different so I select it I say okay open and you see what I have here I have this icon here and that on the, on the desktop has also changed you see Eclipse so this is the how to create a custom uh, desktop launcher on Ubuntu 11.10 and if I also want to move this uh, launcher this launcher to the unity panel I can do it you see the plus sign just change say drop to add application and I did but when the moment you drop to add that application the the, the, the icon of that application on that unity panel changes to uh, the launch uh, the launchpad uh, icon so it cannot retain this Eclipse uh, uh, logo I mean icon uh, I don't know if there's another way around it but what I know so far is that it cannot replace it uh, here the launcher I just created I want to use it to launch the application and it's simple I just double click it and you see Eclipse is running so that is how you create your custom desktop launcher on Ubuntu 11.10. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If it, is, if it has been helpful to you, simply uh, give us a rating, recommend this video, rate it. If you have any question, any comment, please feel free to email the question and feel free to drop your comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.